Kia ora koutou and welcome to Catacombs Cubes in about 3 minutes, review copy used. It has a solo mode, it's a game for 1-4 to four players, playing time is medium, and it's a pretty simple game. In Catacombs Cubes you are the builders of the town of Stormtrine, trying to build the most prestigious and outlandish buildings in the growing township. Can you master Tetris-like skills and build the most impressive buildings? The game ends once a pre-established number of buildings have been built, 12 or 16. The winner is the player with the most points, which you normally get from placing these buildings. Dice. Resources each turn are determined by dice rolls. Cube placement. Each building card requires you to build it out of blocks. Player turn. Each turn one player is the master builder and rolls the resource dice. They can then swap one pair of dice in the resource tray. The blocks in this game are called resources and come in many different shapes. Each player then has two main options. Take a pair of resource dice or build a building. If you take the resource dice, find the matching resources and then place them on your character board. There are always four buildings available to build on the main display. We select the infirmary because we can build it with the resources obtained on our previous turn. We score the points shown on the tile and then place it in the village. At each tile corner, there is a colored arrow each of which grants a different bonus. If the arrows are different, you may choose either reward. If they match, you get double rewards. Each player also has a personal residence, which is a unique building only they may construct. When that is built, place your player marker on top of it. Note, all buildings must be built freestanding. If someone places a tile beside your residence, you may add a free resource to your board. When you build a building, all resources in your construction yard, except for the small black obsidian cubes, are discarded. You keep resources in your warehouse. The green side of the die can be used to add resources to your board, but the grey reward marker lets you add one to your warehouse. Finally, you can also build the palace using either the red side of the die or a red token. Gain points on the palace track based on the size of the resource you added, and then claim the points and resources shown. Play until the city is complete. Why would you like this game? Catacombs Cubes is a fun city building game with simple rules and tactile gameplay. It's pleasant to look at with a wholesome presentation style and artwork that makes it welcoming to all ages. The core decision points are straightforward, draft or build, and the fact even unused resources are removed when you build something means you have to plan out your decisions in advance. Catacombs Cubes will reward people who enjoy visualizing a puzzle and then building it. The mini games within Catacombs Cubes are also interesting, including how the buildings are placed within the township and the palace construction mini game. The best thing about this game is the process of making the buildings. Playing with blocks is just fun. However, this game ships with two ways of selecting resources. We only use the dice system, and I'm not sure why the game needs both. It adds a little bit of confusion learning the rules as well. And the building tiles don't look like they form a city. They just sit in open fields, and I think that's a missed opportunity. For a more tense but less tactile game, try Tiny Towns. And for more building stuff, try Junk Art. Catacombs Cubes. No catacombs to be seen. Plenty of cubes though. If you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, subscribe to the channel, and come support us on Patreon.